Oops, I forgot to turn my computer on. Um, if you're catching this part of the video, you're watching the replay, so if you would put hashtag replay in the comments, and I will greet you when you go over comments, and thank you for watching. Oh, let me get this up. Oh, I don't want you. Okay. Um, where's my Facebook at? <coughs> Say hello when you hop on. I'm trying to get my comments up, so I'm not able to see anything yet. Um, let me just start a fresh one. Um, okay, here we go. Hello, hello. I forgot to make a post that I was going on, so forgive me. There we are. Okay, now I can see. Hello, Miss Karen. Um, what else we got on here? Oh, we got a bunch on here. Let's see. Karen and Chrisilda and Debbie, my neighbor down the road, and Carolyn. Hello, hello. Hello, Miss Charlene. Thank you for hopping on. And Juanita and Annette and Megan. Yay. Do all the things. You know what to do. Y'all know what to do. All those things down below. Send it out. Get some more people here to get the number up. I appreciate it. We are going to, you know, when you don't know what to do, you just get a napkin, right? So we're going to do a napkin. I'm going to let y'all pick which napkin if you want me to do this napkin of this bunny, which is a new one that I got from Tuesday morning the other day. And you know what? I'm hearing that they're supposed to be closing a bunch of them. They're closing the one down on Westheimer in Houston. So I don't know if the one I go to is going to close or not. I hope that it doesn't because we'll be in trouble. Uh, for getting napkins. So we're going to put that on this little Dollar Tree box sign. Um, so this one does say Happy Easter. It's in the lighter colors. So y'all tell me if we should do this one for the tear tray <clears throat> or if we should do this one on the, on the sign here. Okay. So, um, the Easter blessing, blessing are this one, the bunny. Okay, y'all are telling me first and second, so I'm not sure which was first and second. <laughs> um, so, Easter blessing, which is number one, I'm sorry, and number two. I think it'd look cute with glasses on this one. Easter blessing. East, let's see. Thank you for serving the coffee, Debbie. So, wouldn't this look cute if we made him some glasses? Have y'all seen those little characters with the glasses on? I think it'd be cute with glasses. Um, I think I would do that. Um, okay, I think this one was number two. Oh, uh, we're, we're kind of tied. So, hmm. Hello, Terry. Thank you for hopping on. Okay, I'm going to take this tag off and, oops, almost cut my finger. And we're using a <clears throat> candlestick because we're going to stand this up on there. And, okay, so the bunny. And we got... I see 32. I see 22. I don't know if you meant number two. Um, I'm going to get my slick stick. Um, okay. Yes, love the animals with the glasses. My brother-in-law, the, the guest bathroom, has the animals across there when you're, you know, across from the vanity, and it's got them all on there. So, oh, you know what? I need to shake this some more. Number one. This one has more color. This one is more lighter. Um, okay, well, we got a kind of a tie going on. Um, let's see. What do I want to use for this? Hang on, let me use this. 
You like the idea of the candlestick and the frame on top? Yes. We're going to try it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on just so I can keep track of how long I'm on here. Okay, I did put Vaseline around this lid top because last time I tried to open it, it was very hard. So I covered this down here with <clears throat> with uh, Vaseline. This is also another good product to put in a squeeze bottle. Um, so you use slick stick when you're when you're going to be painting on glass. So it serves as a really good primer. Thank you for passing the root beer, and I don't have anything in here to drink, and I wish I did. And my husband's not going to be able to hear me because he's still in jail. They put him in jail for 59 days now for the same picture of the president coming down on the balloons in his underwear. And he didn't even make a comment about it. He just posted it. That was it. So, he's so mad. And he's appealed it. Of course, you know. What you gonna do? Thank you, Shelly, for passing the root beer. Hello, Miss Tony. Yeah, I think I might try this one and try to put the glasses on it. And this uh, slick stick, it's in my uh, link tree and it does cover it has, it has a nice coat when you put it on. Okay, now how am I going to do this? Eh. Okay. There we go. All right. I'm going to leave the very top of it without it because I think it's going to glue better to the sign if I don't put that on there. So that's my thought. Why is he on Facebook? Because he posted a picture of Biden up in the sky with the helium balloons and he's hanging down from the balloons in his underwear. It said it was something to do with pornography. <laughs> yeah, go figure. And a woman can show her bare boobs and her behind and everything else, and no problem. Okay, I'm going to take uh, some sandpaper because this uh, paper on here is overhanging my board here. And you know what? The blue on here, this dark blue, it matches perfect with my napkin. So I think I'm going to leave the sides the way they are. Yeah, and somebody the other day said, oh, well, I posted that picture and I didn't get in jail. So it might be that somebody turned him in, maybe, reported it. Is why I don't know okay <clears throat> now we're going to cover this in white because we want our napkin to show up really good hello Sherry Gibbons hello Catherine okay How was everybody's day today? I actually got quite a bit done. <clears throat> I was feeling overwhelmed this morning, but um, but everything worked out okay. I got things done, got the roast cooked, dinner cooked. I got the dishes done before I come in here. Um, I try to do that before I come in here because my dad goes to bed while I'm on here. And I hate to be in the kitchen moving things around when he's gone to bed. Oops. Okay. I got it running down the sides here. Oh, I'm making a mess. 
make it a mess. I guess we'll have to dry brush. We'll have to dry brush some white on this blue. Okay. <clears throat> Good enough. Good enough. Okay. Hi, Jan. What's going on? We're just going to... I wasn't sure what to craft tonight. So we're going to do this napkin on our little wood box from Dollar Tree. And we're going to put it on a candlestick to make it a uh, tiered tray sign. And I may add some glasses to our bunny to make him kind of cute. <clears throat> okay. Bet you forgot to put lotion. I did. Where's my lotion? I guess I can put some on. Wow, as it's drying, the blue is coming through. I'm going to have to put a second coat. I probably should have sanded the top, too. Anyone have advice on tinting a glass vase? Who is it that did that? Oh, I know. You can find out from Secondhand Treasures. She might can tell you because she used to work at a eyeglass company back in the day and she used to tint the lenses I'm not sure how she did it but that was her job to tint lenses yes I think the lotion would do that help to get it off Whew. I'm getting hot I'm turn my fan up oh I got too much See if I can suck it back. Doesn't take much of this good stuff. Secondhand treasures, Debbie, yes. <clears throat> I think she would definitely be able to tell you. Um, and she crafts pretty much every day. Uh, so I advise you to go and follow her. All right, I'm gonna have to kick this up a notch just a second. <sighs> Turn on that heat dryer does not help. Okay, let's see if I do a little bit less paint this time and not get it so thick. <clears throat> And then I didn't get enough. Um, you're really not feeling well? Who said that? Who's not feeling well? Who is not feeling well? Uh, the napkin is from Tuesday morning. <clears throat> Tuesday morning. Oh, I forgot to bring my birds in here. I forgot to bring my birds. Okay, I'm gonna say good enough. <clears throat> Dog on it. And my honey can't hear me to go help out and bring them to me. I can't find my razor blade that I had over here to clean my glass, so I have to forgive me for my messy desk. I sure hope Tuesday morning isn't closing. I do too, but there's a bunch of them closing. Yeah. Thank you, President. <laughs> oh, my word. Goodness. Is there anything good that's happened? Come on. There you go. <clears throat> So you get four of these on this napkin. 
So, all right, I think I'm done with that one. All right, I guess I'm gonna dirty up all my brushes tonight. Oh, that's not dry yet, all the way. Oh goodness, yep, they're closing. Of course, when I was in there last week, they didn't tell me that they're closing. And I gotta, nope, that's Joanne's, never mind. I'm gonna try to go there tomorrow, maybe, and stop by and ask them. I don't know if they would know or not. <clears throat> I know that the napkins, the Easter napkins, there were not very many. In fact, I think I bought everything they had except for maybe a few packages um, because I got a bunch of Easter napkins. Oh, thank you, Helen, for the, for the stars. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that so much. I done forgot the song. Thank you, thank you for the stars. Thank you, thank you for the stars. How wonderful you are. I don't know. Miss Deb again, she sings it. It's so cute. Okay. Now let's just do a little Mod Podge. And we're going to iron it on. So let me see if my iron's hot. Yep, it's hot. Thank you, Helen, for passing the root beer. Okay, well our numbers are low tonight. Let's see. We got 39 on. and we'll... There has to be more than one share. It shows one share. That can't be right. That can't be right. Hmm, maybe I need to refresh my screen. Let me refresh. Let's see. Now I see 41. I sure wish Mr. FB would hurry and get things straight where things work right. It makes it hard on us who don't shop online. Um, well, Tuesday morning you can't shop online. They don't deliver. So um, what hurts is, is that people are shopping online. There's so much shopping online that people aren't going into the stores and they can't afford to pay the labor and keep the door open because of the rent, you know. So, you know, uh, Amazon's, I'm sure, part of it too. And then, of course, the pandemic and all that, people are scared of getting sick. So it's all kinds of things that's causing it unfortunately. I mean, look how many people are doing groceries now online and going to curbside to pick them up. So, yeah. It's all going to be self-serve, you know, like, um, <clears throat> you're not going to have anybody wait on you. I think some subways are, no wait, who is it? Um, a lot of places you're just having to serve yourself. Yep, shopping online has taken away all the mom and pop stores that you used to go to. Yes. I mean, convenience is a wonderful thing. Unfortunately, it is. It's a wonderful thing. And we live such busy lives 
that we tend to gravitate toward convenience. Unfortunately, that's what we do. Um, I mean, we have so many things to do that you can sit and place your order online for the grocery store and drive up and go pick it up, you know. And that's, that's just the way it is. And I am going to try to keep my, my dragonfly right there. And I'm going to make sure I keep his ears. So we're going to cut off a little bit of his bottom, um, of his body. But I do want to keep the dragonfly right there, part of it, and part of those flowers right there. Hello, Vicki. Hello, Miss Donna. Everything's going according to revelations. Amen, amen. That's right. And unfortunately, you're not going to change the Word of God. It is what it is, and it is... The story is... It's happening. It is happening. Thank you for passing the root beer, Vicki. I so appreciate it. We are over 8,000 in case anyone here doesn't know. So I think we're on track for the 10 by April 24th when I go on a one week trip with Craft Around the Clock sisters and brothers. So, I'm hoping that's going to be a wonderful time to celebrate, and it only happens because of you. Because it wouldn't be happening if it wasn't for you. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now we're, now we're going to take our sand, and that is hot. Whew. Hot, hot, I'd say. Thank you, Charlene, for passing the root beer. And remember, you can do it five times in public to go on the wheel. I don't think I mentioned that. So happy mail. I give happy mail for each craft that I do. And that will be five Easter napkins. So there'll be this one and this one. <clears throat> and this one is one of them. And two other ones that I don't have in here. So, do five times in public. That's the only way I can see it. And you'll go on the wheel five times. Now, some of y'all do more than five times, but y'all know the limit is five times to make it fair to everyone. And I appreciate more than five, but... For the drawing, for the for the happy mail, it is one. Now, woo, I almost slung it. Isn't that cute? I think it's adorable. Okay, now um, I need that to cool off a little more. I want to put a top coat while I got this wet. And it may bubble when we do a top coat, but we'll see. We'll see. Because I want to write on top to make the glasses, so we have to seal it. And I don't want to do too much, but I also don't want to rub on it too much. And also, if it's going to be in the kitchen, you want it sealed. Okay. There we go. I did get some on the bottom, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Okay. Alright, now, what do I do with the... Oh, I guess I done put it in there. I'm going to dry brush some of the, around the edges, and let's see, 
Let me find me a dry brush. I don't know if this orange is gonna come off there or not. We'll, we'll try. And I'm gonna do the white. Good night, Roxanne. Thank you for hopping on with us and sweet dreams to you, hun. I need a paper plate. I don't like putting my chalk paint in my little paint trays because they are, chalk paint is very, very hard to get washed out. The acrylics, I can soak them with, put water in them and let them soak and it peels right up. So, but not chalk paint. Chalk paint is there to stay. <clears throat> Hi, Miss Betty. Hi, Barbara. And I'm gonna dab it on my paper towel. And we're just gonna dry brush this. I may just uh, kind of get a little more on the corners. And on the edges. Pray that you feel better. Oh, the Roxanne, yes, okay. Yeah, my husband and I both were kind of feeling yucky to our stomach. I was feeling that way last night and I didn't know if it was something from Denny's that we ate or what, but who knows? But I feel better now. Got a pose right there. We had a wonderful devotion this morning, and for any of you that don't know, I do a Bible devotion Monday through Friday um, around 10.30ish. This morning it was closer to 11, just, uh, just happens because I get a phone call that sometimes carries me past what I should be, but, um, but anyway, I'd love to have y'all join me. Um, it was emotional this morning, but the Lord was definitely moving this morning on devotion. And tonight is Karen Wheaton. She brings a weekly devotion, and I will be sharing that as well, because she's awesome. And, um, okay, I'm not sure I really care for that. I may take some of the blue and drag back through it. Um, so we'll check, we'll see in just a moment. Now let me get my paint pen, my black paint pen, and let's make him some glasses. And we may... Do y'all think we should diamond dust in his ears and in the center of some of the flowers, I think, right? Um, so give me some, give me some hearts or thumbs up if you want me to diamond dust. Oh, Lois, I see your comment. Hold on. Um, or I see everybody saying they see you. Hello, Abby, or, or no, wait, Libby. Hey, Libby Jones, you uh, tagged Abby. Hey, Barbara. So I'm not, I'm not seeing all the comments just because I'm, I'm focusing down here, okay? Please forgive me. Okay, I tested out my pen before I, before I did this. Oh, how does this look? How do they look? I don't know. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm going to kind of put it lower on his nose, I think. <sighs> I'm scared. I 
probably should have did a um, pencil first. Now, how do we do this side? You can't see it. Oh, I made it too small. I made this side too small. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, um, yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. Now I'm going to have to detail his eye. Um, now I've got to detail his eye with the other thinner paintbrush. Did y'all tell me yes on the diamond dust and his ears and in the flowers and maybe the dragonfly? what probably would have been cute is to take the flowers down the side right here to carry this over that probably would have looked cute and then the bottom of, of course you're not going to see the bottom of you but let's see I'm just kind of giving you all the ideas so that you could uh, put this over on the sides so if you get your napkin in the mail, if you get happy mail, I'm giving y'all the idea what you can do with these napkins. So yes, diamond dust. Thank you, Karen. Maybe bumped something when hopping. <laughs> yeah, right? Okay. Test your pen before you use it because it'll burp on you and spit everywhere. Okay, so he's got or she or whatever, she's got these little whiskers that go way out there. So we're gonna make those show up. Do these in a eye, come around here. This might make the glasses look better. I'm going to do one side and show it to y'all. I'm just lightly and these pins are in my link tree. I do not know the brand because it doesn't say it on here and I threw the wrapper away, but it's like a set of 24, I think, and they are in my link tree. I'm going to come up here and go over the line for his ear. Okay. Now, and I press it to kind of tone it down with my finger. Um,
and I'll need to get a small brush and I will go over the white dot in the eye. So this side I did with the pen on his whiskers and all. Can y'all see the difference? I'm holding it still for just a minute to focus. Which way do I need to move? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> there we go. Can y'all see it? Okay. So now I'm going to do this side. I should have painted this, whatever I'm going to paint it. I think I'm going to do it in the blue. Now, I don't know why this side doesn't have any whiskers or, you know, those eyebrow hairs going out. But I think I'm going to give him some. Um, I love doing this stuff. So when you do a napkin and you seal it, you can go over all of this in your own paints if you wanted to with the brush and acrylics or watercolors or whatever, and you can enhance this napkin to be your own piece of art, okay? Um, so remember that. You can fill in all this if you wanted to with, um, just depends on what you're, what you're doing. You can use other napkins. You can take, you can take other napkins that you got pieces of, and you can take your water pen and do that flower, and you can add whatever you want. So, I'm gonna go over his nose, the black part of his nose that goes to the inside of his nose. Come down his little line here for his mouth. This just kind of helps make it look a little more 3D, maybe dimensional. Um, oh yeah, I gotta do this eye. Okay, dab it. All right, let me see if I have a white one, and I'll do that white with, see if this one works. Thank you, um, Mickey. I need my, my prescription changed on my glasses, y'all. Oh, I should have done this. You know what you should do on the sides? Make black and white stripes, kind of like Mackenzie, going down. How about how about the white and the and the blue? The blue in here. I think the white and the blue would look pretty. See this Mackenzie napkin? Is the the white and the blue? I think that would look good. I don't want to use this napkin for it, but just let me show you. And then we could run the yellow and the gold through it. For the drags. I don't want to waste um, this napkin. Otherwise, I could do this napkin. But let me show y'all how it looks. Is that what you mean, the stripes? The white and the blue with the yellow and gold drags. 
Good idea, y'all. Who said that? Okay. Let me put this back in here because I don't want nothing to get on it. And Charlene Toomey sent me these napkins month, months ago, long time ago, and just waiting for the right time to use it. Okay, let me see if this is gonna, oops. See, that one just burped. I'm glad I tried it here first. It did a big old blob. Uh, see, it's spitting. It's spitting, but I might be able to do just enough for this dot on his eye. And I'm just, that dot, 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 okay? All right. Okay, now, and you can go over greenery and uh, all of that, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time there uh, doing that. So let me put this off over here. And, okay, I want to do this in the blue too, I think. I want to do this in the blue, and then I want to use the gold rub and buff to go over the edges. I mean, this could be in stripes too. Sure could. I think that's a good idea. Let me get my blue. I think this is the good blue, which is Admiral Blue. And what color? White. White. Let's see. I have a good white. I don't know if I like this one, but we'll try it. The wheels on my chair needs to go outside and get everything cleaned out of them. They have rolled and collected so much stuff that it's unreal. Okay. Um, should I do... The size of a popsicle stick for the stripes or what I think I need bigger than that I think this is too big that's too big I think this size let me get a pencil my white paint pens always burp well, I've got the big one right here. I could probably use this for my white, actually. Let's see if this works out. Is my Miss Sarah on here? She's really good at doing stripes and checks. doesn't have to be perfect. All that stuff you throw behind you. <laughs> I know. That's called entertainment, y'all. My husband says, they don't care about you crafting. They want entertainment. That almost did good, y'all. So, if I do this one white, let's see. Hold on. Let me do something real quick. Tongue blade. He's like, you, you gotta entertain them. They don't care nothing about the craft. <laughs> I see this should have been sanded a little bit. All right, let's see. All right, white, white, white. Oh, it doesn't land right. But that's okay. Maybe it'll be, um, I don't guess the corners have to be the same color. They'll be all alternating colors, so I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. All that stuff you throw behind you. Okay. Do y'all see 38 people? Goodness gracious. I guess I need to refresh. Oh no, there it goes, 39. Now I see 40, okay. 
I never know when it's frozen or not, you know. Okay, let me see how this goes. C41. Okay. Remember, happy mail for tonight's craft will be five Easter napkins, and you can send it out far and wide up to five times in public to go on the wheel for happy mail. Okay, last side to mark. So, see, you can do your napkin and do as much as you want to dress something up. You could even do something else on the inside of this box for another uh, occasion and just flip it. Turn, just turn it around. Of course, you may want it to be coordinating with the color scheme because of this on the outside, right? Let's see how this is going to turn out. It turned out perfect, y'all. It turned out perfect with every other one. So, I think I'm going to put this in the blue real quick so it can be drying. And then I'll maybe use the paint pen to do the white. Thank you for tagging a friend. I love this, but I don't really know how to draw. Well, this is just finding how, how wide you want your stripes. You just use a pencil. And you, you can use the paint pen or you can just use a paintbrush and paint these stripes, every other stripe. So, and then where your pencil lines are, you're gonna drag it with some yellow or gold to go over that. So, practice. Practice on um, a Dollar Tree charger or something. What am I doing? I'm doing this. Y'all, I'm getting, getting all over the place. Let's see. Oh, that was a lot. But I'll be using it for this too, so not a big deal. Oh, this is such a pretty blue. on the rabbit I mean oh, okay well you're just you're just going over the lines that are already there with a fine tip paint pen um, you can like one of mine I did was I guess it's sold um, I did with a pencil because the rabbit was kind of gray so I used one of these pencils and just enhance the shading around the rabbit. Now you don't have to do any of that. I like to do it to make the napkin come alive a little more. Um, so, but the thing is, is you can play with it. It's just a napkin, you know. You can paint over it if you don't like it. You can totally paint over it and start over with another napkin.
This is such a pretty blue. This is Admiral Blue and Apple Barrel. Matte Acrylic. Y'all, my primer is peeling off. If you rub it too much, it's peeling off. I thought it would stick better than that. Huh. That is weird because it says glass on there. And it might be because it's supposed to cure for 24 hours, maybe. And I'm rushing things. I'm just going all kinds of directions here, y'all. Uh, inviting Pat. This will need two coats more than likely, but. Okay, let me set that aside. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on that plate. Okay, oh, I need this. Now, now we're gonna go ahead and do these. Chicken fredicine uh, with creamy basil alfredo sauce for my, the first time, and man, was it good! And I put a little piece of chicken in it. Yummy, yummy! Awesome, Shelly. You're feeling good about yourself right now, girl, aren't you? I'm so proud of you, girl. So proud. We had, um, I made that roast and potatoes and carrots, and we had leftover rice from our Chinese food because my dad loves the gravy over the rice. And, um, and then my dad made that key lime cheesecake the other day, and we had that for dessert. So, so much for losing weight and being healthy, right? That is very pretty blue. It is. It's called Emerald Blue Apple Barrel. Okay, see I made that stripe just a little bit wider. Accidentally I went over that line a little much, but it's okay. Um, because I still got to put the white on and I'm going to put that other gold or yellow in there and I'll put it over it. And I just went over that. Okay. Get that out of the way before I get something on it. Yeah, they do not have to be straight. Shelly, they're asking you where you got the recipe. So you see how I put the white dot where the white's going to be? That makes it better so that you don't make a mistake and accidentally grab the wrong square so or stripe. So that way you know the white goes where the white dot is.
and y'all y'all if you don't um, have the square box you can use a piece of cardboard and put your napkin on a piece of cardboard to put on your tear tray you don't have to have this box now I'm getting that on me I'm speeding it up a little bit Thank you for inviting Karen Stanley, Teresa. Uh-oh. I better be careful. I'm going to get it on the front of my napkin. I'm going to try to touch the back. Here's the last one with the blue. I love the feel of this brush. Okay, so there is our blue stripes, okay? I think that's gonna look really cute. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that off. I'm gonna cover that up just in case I need it. Okay, I've been on almost an hour. I'm gonna try to I'm going to go ahead and try this paint pen. Let's just see. Where did I start? Maybe I better do a little dry real quick. Hello, paint party with, with Lit, is it Lydia? I don't, my, my vision is blurred. I can't. It is a it is looking great thank you Barbara yes I'm drawing the blue because you know me you know me you know what when it dries it's perfect it's it deepens in blue and it's perfect color to coordinate with the front of the napkin These are in my uh, link tree too, these Picasso paint pens. These are what Sarah uses on the Rustered Mustard Seed. And she paints checks and stripes all the time. Okay. But you know what? I think the paint is going to be faster. I think I'm going to try the paint. I think it's going to be faster. Um, what cute idea. Yes. Yeah. Well, one of you guys is the one that told me to do the stripes. And if I were to guess, it was probably Charlene Toomey, but I don't know. I don't know. And this is the good paint brushes, the Zins. They cost a little more money, but they're great for doing stripes and checks. They're in my link tree. I didn't like the way the paint pen was setting on top of this um, color that was underneath it, so. Okay. 
And the white's probably gonna need two coats. You can see my dot, where I put the dot. <laughs> you like the bunny? Thank you. I guess I should turn it this way where y'all can at least see the bunny. So this is really simple, doing the stripes. I think some people had to get off and go to bed and I'm spluttering paint. Y'all don't forget, if you're crafting, to put your picture in the VIP Crafting with Terry Lynn group where y'all can post your pictures. I would love to see them. And some of y'all are sending me pictures in, the, in my PMs, showing me some of your crafts, and y'all are doing amazing. In fact, one of y'all did, what was it? Oh. The Dollar Tree tray, I think it was. And my goodness, it was prettier than mine. And I love that. I love that when y'all exceed what I'm doing. That's amazing. I'm going to go over this white again. I think my white needed to be shook up a little more. over the blue too. I do believe. Okay. Last side for the white. Good night, Shelly. Thank you for being here. Thank you for prayers. We'll see you in the morning on the devotion. Okay. Let me put that on. Okay, I have been on an hour. What was that page again, please? What page? Oh, my, my link tree? 
I haven't been able to do any crafting for a while. Had surgery a week ago and so many other things going on. My goodness, Charlene. Um, you need to send me a private message so I can put you in the prayer box. Craft that, oh, VIP Crafting with Terry Lynn. Typically, um, I have it set up to where it automatically invites you when someone uh, follows my page, it's gonna automatically ask you if you want to join the group. Um, at least I hope it's still set that way, but with all the updates that they're doing, who knows if Facebook kept that connected or not. Um, and some of y'all may not even be following anymore and you used to follow and you think you're still following, but you may not be because um, I know some people that I was following, I had to re-follow them. So somehow we got kicked off. Well, I'm gonna have to go get my eyes checked. My eyes are really getting bad. Of course, I'm sure looking at the phone screen all the time does not help. I think I've got over 60 something messages to go check when I get off here. Okay, I'm gonna, I think dry one section at a time. Thank you, Darlene. We added glasses to him. Not my best set of glasses, but. grandson in the airplane the other day you looked so natural like that was something that you have always been doing is flying in an airplane with your grandson no nope. but I tell you what I wasn't even scared wasn't scared um, this grandson would never take us up if he didn't feel confident in what he was doing um, and he didn't appear to be nervous or anything either, so. And you know what? I said, if it's my time, what better way to go is with my grandson right beside me. So, I, I felt that I was in good hands. So, yeah, I sure did. It was wonderful. That's only my second time to be in a private plane. And that plane is not his. That's part of the program, you know. And um, he has to pay for, you know, 195 an hour. But um, anyway, it was it was fun. I got one side left, I think, and we're done with these stripes. Then we'll do some drag. I got a little bit of blue right there. I'll cover it.
Okay. I think it looks awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and use up this paint that I got right here, because I don't wanna throw it away. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this edge. Just don't want to throw it away. Don't like to waste. And who knows, I might could do this one on the inside, but I won't do it tonight. And you can just uh, flip it around. Thank you for passing the root beer, Barbara. I appreciate it very much, hon. And I have two really nice gift boxes of goodies that will be given away when I do reach that 10,000. I've got two of them over here and it's Easter stuff. Some really nice kitchen towels and measuring cups and measuring spoons. There'll be all the um, Easter napkins in there. And what else do I have? And I'll be adding stuff as, as we go until that time, so. I'm thinking we'll be at 9,000 by the end of this month. So, by the end of March, we should be there. So, you should get this stuff in time for Easter. I'll be giving away two of them. Okay. So, help me, help me get there by doing all the things. You know what they are. So, um, I don't want to touch them right now because of my hands. I better get me a baby wipe. Before I get any more on this white napkin. Okay, I am going to go ahead and put another coat of blue on there, I think. Or do I want to leave it? I kind of like it. I kind of like it all. Oh, wow. Almost, yeah. That's right. I'm I'm uh, eight thousand twenty or twenty something right now. We reached eight thousand yesterday. Yesterday, almost around noon. Yesterday. Um. So, and I think tomorrow I'm gonna run an ad on my page just to make sure. I <laughs> I just want to make sure that I'm gonna go and I'm gonna be able to celebrate that. But, but you know what? You don't even start making money at 10. You gotta be at 10 to, to monetize. But the thing is, there has to be 600,000 viewing minutes. That means y'all need to be watching my videos um, big time. Uh, so, at least for three minutes. So if you watch a crafter, Stay on at least three minutes. That's for any of us. And there's a lot of us out there that are at that point. Some of them are already at 10,000, but they need the viewing minutes. So I'm going and helping my crafty sisters by putting one on my husband's phone, letting it run, letting one run on my phone, and then one on my computer. I got all three devices going, and I may go go do something and just leave them sitting there running. You know what I mean? That's what we do for our crafty sisters. Okay. Now my blue in here inside this where I painted that edge is wet. Does the devotion count? Yes. Any, any of the videos on my page all count. So in the back office, we can click on it and it shows us how many minutes. Now I'm a little more than halfway. 
So it's got to be for 60 days, 60 days prior to reaching that 10,000. So um, I'm short about 250,000 if I do reach that goal by the end of next month. I mean, it would be amazing if that was in place when the 10 happens and you monetize. And how you know if you're, <coughs> the way you know if we're monetized is if when you watch a replay and you get a commercial after a minute or so of it watching or, you know how if you watch um, Barb with the shabby tree, you'll see she'll have several um, commercials and then there'll be a button, you can skip the commercial. Well, that is being monetized. That's how they make their money is on those commercials, and so does Mr. FB. So, and of course he makes the most, right? Um, so that's how you know when somebody is monetized is when you get that. Okay. Now we were gonna drag. Let's do a drag. I'm gonna say, a little yellow. I'm gonna say some king's gold. Or do I want gold? Do I want gold? That's glass. Metallic paint. Gold. This is metallic gold, I think. Or do I want to use that other gold? Where's that? Where's my other gold? I don't know where my other gold is. I bet it's over here somewhere. Okay, look. Here's one of the sets of napkins. There's two in there from Tuesday morning that will be in that um, with a set of these. Okay and all the napkins, and one of these. Oops, got a string. Um, this, is the other, this is the other set. It's like this, with the bunnies. Okay, so I got two boxes I'm working on for that. And I don't see my other gold. My little gold, oh, here it is. It's hidden, hiding. So I got this gold. Um, I'm gonna pick that up. I'm gonna have to wash brushes tomorrow because I'm about to use all my brushes. I'm gonna use this little brush right here. I am going to, let me see. Let me look at this Mackenzie Child napkin. I'm gonna use it for a guideline. I'm gonna leave it in the wrapper so I don't mess it up. Okay, so it's not right on the... I'm gonna have to finish that. I'm gonna have to finish that pedestal later because I'm spending time here. Let me see what this gold looks like. And then we can diamond dust. This is pretty. This is pretty. Let's see. I think I want it to go this way. I'll show y'all just a second. And I'm going to do the... I may put some... I don't know if y'all can see the gold yet. But this here is 
metallic, deco art metallic paint, 24 karat gold is what it says. So, okay, so it doesn't go, they don't do the same block with the same color. So, So we're just gonna do different colors. We're gonna do this here and there. I think I'm going to get a little bit of a smoky gray and do some of that even though our, I mean that's what it shows in here is a little bit of a smoky gray. Where is that? Just a little. Yeah, it's a pretty gold color. I'm just using the same brush. Hey, I'm new to doing this. I've done a little bit of, of the checks, but not much. bit of this yellow. Um, I'm do I almost want to spray this with a little water. I'm going to spray my brush with a little bit of water. Some of these drags don't come all the way down. I may be overkilling it. <laughs> with it, kind of.
feel. Thing is, you can keep playing with it till you're happy with it, but Oh well, it's not exact, but you know, it takes practice. And I have not done much practice. I have not. Okay, got those closed, got that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead let that sit there and I'm going to take this blue and I'm just going to go over this I think I probably should let it sit and let it dry good overnight There I go, touching it again. I'm messy, y'all. I get paint everywhere. I get it everywhere. That's why I buy secondhand clothes, because I get stuff on me. And I've got couple of aprons. I just don't put them on because I get too hot. Okay, the bottom looks good. Um, this is where I need my Lazy Susan up here to turn this and not have to touch it. Okay, y'all, I have been on quite a while. I'm going to let this sit and let that cure overnight. I'll leave that tray there, and I will, there I go, get it on my arm, and I will um, do more paint on that tomorrow. And, of course, I'll post a picture of this done. So, but my thoughts are, let's see. Oh, we gotta do the diamond dust real quick. Stand up. Let me do the diamond dust on his ears and in the flowers. Let's see, got my spoon. And I need a little here. Need a little brush. Let me go over there. You come here. Come here now. Took me a little of this. Okay. I need to make me some Mod Podge. I've got my stuff to make Mod Podge because I am trying to cut back and save as much as I can. We don't know what's going to happen in this world. And so I'm going to start preparing for the worst and hope for the best. Prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Do you hear me? That's what I think. Oh, yeah. Now remember, this is diamond dust, so it is cut glass. If you use something like this on your projects, keep in mind if there's children or animals that may come in contact with this. You do not want it to get in their mouth and cause a problem because it is crushed glass. 
Just like to make that little side note for safety purposes. I don't have to worry about that because this will never be in the reach of children or and my cat, she don't jump up on anything. She's the best cat ever. I have never seen her on my kitchen cabinets or anything. She's just, she's amazing. Now that I finally have diamond dust, I am going to, I am addicted to it. Yes, it can definitely be addicting. And you start doing the stripes and the check, you get addicted to that too, which I have not really dabbled with it enough to say I'm addicted and it be in the four the front of my mind that often, but um, where else is there flower? Oh yeah, I was gonna do the dragonfly, I think, with the diamond dust, oh, I think, okay. Where else, right here, right here, right here. I'm just about done with this. I'm thinking I want to do the whole di whole dragon, I think. Or maybe I don't. Maybe I just want the wings. I don't know. I hope this doesn't make him fade away, but... I'm thinking maybe just the wings. y'all can see it. Can y'all see the diamond dust? It looks like I made his glasses and he's got them on upside down. <laughs> I should have made. <clears throat> See, I got a piece of that glass woo, in my finger right now. Um, I think I should have made the little cross there in the center go more up in the middle between the two. There we go. That hurt. That hurt. Thank you, Teresa. Um, what else did I say I was going to do? I think... I don't think he needs any uh, Tim Holtz antiquing around it I don't know but it's gonna go on here when I finish my base and I'm not sure I'm not sure if I want to strike the bottom or not do you what do y'all think do you think the base needs to be striped or just keep it keep it solid which I got to keep putting the coats on it to make it right but, oh yeah, we're gonna do the antique, uh, the rub and, rub and buff. I could put the rub and buff on this after I finish the blue. I think that might look better instead of stripes. Yeah, solid with the rub and, rub and buff. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. And, um, and I may put a bow right down here hanging down, just to put a bow here. I think it'll look cute. All right, y'all, I didn't have a plan. I threw it together because I didn't wanna miss being on with you guys. So I think it, um, I think it's gonna be stinking cute. Um, and it will, I'll be able to try to decorate a um, tear tray for Easter. So, that's what I got for you nails. Natural soft bow. Yes. Yes, it'll be something just small, just a little. It'll be almost like he's got a bow tie on right here. It'll look almost like a bow tie right under him. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. 
well it turned out nice for doing it on the fly yes on the fly and you know that worries me sometimes when I'm on the fly um, okay so everything is closed up when I turn that switch off it'll all be turned off we don't have to worry about that covers are on my paint pens all my paint is closed up and I think we're good so I'm gonna go and napkins what napkins have a good night Terry um, I decided against doing the monthly napkin thing. So I think what I'm gonna do is put together some um, some bundles and just tell y'all, here's what I got and here's how many I got. If you want this bundle, this is what it's gonna be, okay? So, but I will separate the napkins so that I can do it all in one uh, stamp and make it easier. Um, so I will, I will let y'all know and I'll post something. Um, when I get it together. So I did separate a bunch last night just to have ready for happy meal. Um, good night, Charlene. So I'm just thinking, I don't know. Because my price is gonna be more than what you could buy bundles from somebody else. The thing that would be different from me from somebody else is I separate the plies so I don't have to print labels and have bubble bags and all the things to ship them. I do it all in one envelope, five napkins, and it's one stamp. So um, I just sit in my chair and I separate napkins and, you know, so I don't know. I'm working on it. Okay. Um, or if you just want one napkin, I'm going to put a price on it. Okay. One napkin, I wouldn't have to separate it. I just send one napkin. The thing is, I hate to charge somebody a dollar. <laughs> you know, okay, you gotta pay, how do you wanna pay me a dollar? You know, so um, I don't, I just, I don't really wanna mess with the small stuff. You know what I mean? So I don't know, I'm torn. Okay, I'm gonna get off and thank you for joining me and good night, everyone. Sweet dreams and we'll see you tomorrow at Devotion. Good night. Bye bye.